Okay, we're back now. Um, <clears throat> okay, just going to show you how you prop your interior and um, what you should do. So by now you should have had uh, your resource file so you can stream it. So you'll have your resource lure. Just follow that in there. If, if, you, if, you, if you want this code, just give me a message and I'll copy and paste it somewhere. Um, but if not, it's there. It's You can find it online. There's, like, there's many places you can find it. It's not hard to find um, but just make sure obviously in your resources folder uh, whatever you call your folder you must put in here so for example that as you can see as well you've got I've got Sandy Fire Department SASP uh, Adina um, Del Perro uh, it just gives that, that just tells the server I want you to run this folder basically it's as simple as that it, it, it just forces it to run and then all these get loaded in uh, which here I've got me files my YMAP YTYP and my manifest they're all very important then I've got my collision and then my model then I've got the exterior model which is this which I cut the hole out of and then I've got the two collision folders for the model and uh, obviously we've gone through all that sorted it it's nice it all works we know we've tested it in the last video so it is enterable however obviously we want to deal with the props now um, so wherever you so where do you put these just obviously in code walker just um, open up project window uh, I must open a YMAP file okay now I've gone to this file the resource file stream and then I'm loading the YMAP through this because this is the live version okay in the open IV that would be your backup but I'll, I'll keep it in there that's that's what i do okay so you open that up it appears brilliant so now at this stage you should have the milo instance yeah you've got your number of exit ports which is the one which is the blue square that's the portal um now you're probably thinking how do you move props well there's a little button here open ytyp file don't do that don't do that at all if you do that you'd have problems sorry I've just noticed uh, yeah well, I've, <laughs> I didn't realize the scaling was wrong but um, but yeah uh, don't load your YMAP through code walker a uh, YTYP sorry through code walker only load the YMAP file once you've loaded the YMAP file you're good to go okay so this is this is it this is where it is this is where it's happening so we do is minimize that come to your selection mass select okay uh, find your door there's your door I've got the door uh, what do you do you open up your project window again and you see this tab add to project now this opens your YTYP and now you're able to edit delete move add new props to your interior if you load it manually you will not have this uh, ability I don't know why um, but you won't be able to add delete props um, so I mean, first things first. Obviously, you want to you want your door in here. So you just just try and fit it in as best you can. I mean, this door is probably a bit big for what we're we're doing it for. But um, some other stuff as well. I'm just gonna delete that and this one. But as I said as well, you'll notice this white box will slowly get smaller in a moment. Um, reason being because you're changing the room size technically we're going to keep this we'll throw this in there so when I go in game you can actually see it and um, I mean it's, it's as simple as that I don't know how else to uh, tell you how to do it I mean what war uh, what more could you actually want eh? it's as simple as that so obviously thanks to Dexy for making this he's the one that's made this possible otherwise we'd all still be let's delete this one because I'm just going to move this one over hold uh, is it control I can't remember oh no control V uh, control C control V there you go and it copies and pastes all right and it keeps it to there there's a couple of lights the doors there it's obviously too big for it um, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that because this is just for tutorial purposes. Uh, so right now we've only got 
four props in here, which is the door, two lights, and the vending machine. I mean, I don't know if any of you's got a website. Uh, I go to, if I remember, Pleb Masters. Okay, um, there's all kinds of stuff in here. I mean, all you do, literally just copy that. What you do in here, you go to Tools, uh, YTYP, you go to Milo, New Entity, and it loads. New Entity, there we go. So then, by default, you get your egg. You throw that in now, and there it is. All right, and you can move this around, do what you want. Spin it around like that. So I'm just going to throw some props in just to give you the idea. Um, I mean, I'll do a few more just so you can understand because I know it can be a pain in the backside for some people trying to understand it. So I'll just do a couple of props. Like, for example, I'll come up to here. Oh, I wasn't supposed to click that categories uh, I mean you can add all kinds of things interior objects uh, so I know what should we, what should we add add something like your CCTV camera let's add one of them in now then new Milo I mean sometimes if you if you do new Milo it doesn't show up just 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 click a different prop and then do it again uh, otherwise you could be there for ages trying to add it and it won't add all right so I'll turn this that way and you can always angle it as well at different angles just control Z it go, makes it takes you back back a step and so forth I just want to show you that it's pretty simple to do. I mean, I'm not bothered if that other plate's not there. I won't be losing sleep about it. Uh, we'll add. A, I tell you what, we'll add a table and chair quick, and uh, we'll go from now. Uh, let's just say table. Is that, is that a pool table? Why not? Is it big? Very big actually. Yeah, that's well too big. I don't want that. Let's go back to this. Let's just get. So I'm making it so complicated. <laughs> I just want a simple table. So let's just get this table, that though. Any table would do, wouldn't it? This is only a tutorial. Just want to show you how it works. What have I done here? Oh, it's because I deleted it. Right, okay. Uh, uh, I'll get a chair, put a chair in there. All 
Uh, I mean, we'll leave it like that. I'll tell you what, we'll save it now. Uh, so, save it as the Y2YP. Yep, save that. Yes, I do. Now, you click back up to here. Now, you save the Milo again. And then, while you're in this, go to Tools, Manifest Generator, Generate and save manifest and save over your other one, okay? I always do it just as a precaution, just want to save it, make sure it's right, otherwise you'll go, oh, why aren't it working now all of a sudden? Because it, some things do get generated into here, which I believe is the vanilla props go into here, um, but the majority of them do go into the YTYP, all right? Okay, so we're here, we're at the place, I know the door's too big, we've already established that. It's enterable. Oh, there's a guy sitting there. Uh, there is a... There is something where you can remove ped spawns. Um, it's in a part of my tips and tricks, so... If you're on my Discord, you can have a look at that. 